Alita would like to uh, share a little something with us. just wanted to share with all of you about the power of prayer in this holiday season and how Jesus does work remarkably in our lives. A week ago Saturday, my cousin Karen woke up to my cousin Richard breathing ver very heavily. It was very strange. She quick called 911. The cops came before the ambulance. They used an AUD and they got Richard breathing some on the way to the hospital. They got to the hospital. They hooked him up on life support, a ventilator. For four days, they kept him in a reduced coma. They kept his brain cold, hoping and praying. And some of you who have seen my post had also been praying. Prayers from Iowa to Illinois clear out to West Virginia, from family, from friends, okay? But for four days, Karen sat there with her husband, not knowing the outcome. Wednesday morning, all of a sudden, Richard started to take a couple breaths on his own. They gradually decided to wean him off the ventilator. As of Thursday morning, he was responding to nurses and actually talking to his family. I would like to say and just testify the power of prayer. Jesus hears us. God works mysteriously. Richard will be having a defibrillator put in tomorrow. But with the thanks of prayers and thanks be to God, he's going home to his family and able to celebrate Christmas. So when people ask for prayers on our prayer list or reach out to us, please remember they do hear our prayers. And I'm so thankful for the ladies who do the prayer chain and the prayer tag. And I'm thankful for this church family. Several of you have prayed for me and my boys. And as, as a member of this church, I can't thank you enough. So during this holiday season, let's remember the reason for the season. And forget about our worries and the hustle bustle of Christmas, but just pray for Almighty God. 